So there is so much excitement in kidney cancer. Back when I started one drug, now there's 15 drugs now approved for kidney cancer. So the field has undergone several rounds of amazing, uh, um, basically, uh, uh, there, uh, revolutions in the field. I think right now advanced imaging is extremely exciting. We have several tracers that can help us understand the tumor biology before treatment. We have, we're on the cusp at probably the first useful uh, adjuvant agent, uh, the immuno-oncology agents. We expect that there'll be probably a whole host of them coming to help patients who are at high risk of recurrence. And on the horizon, there's several predictive or maybe prognostic biomarkers we expect will help, help us understand and guide treatment. We've been very envious of our, our colleagues in breast cancer and, and pro, uh, prostate cancer where we have um, molecular guided uh, um, diagnostic tools which can help us understand recurrence, help us predict who's going to be best treated with one drug or the other. I think in the next year or two we're going to start to see these kind of hit the market uh, as they are in development from several companies which have a track record in this space. Uh, I do think it's an exciting time to be a doctor uh, and I, I tell my patients you know every day that you know they no one is lucky to have kidney cancer but the fact that they are uh, diagnosed now in this era, we have so many more options for them. And uh, this is not their father or mother's form of kidney cancer now. This is a new era and we are doing dramatically better. And we're excited that our patients are living longer than ever with great quality and a long quantity of life.